Right, let's continue our analysis of what's happened so far in the local election results. Let's bring in Alex Nice, a researcher at the Institute for Government, who's joining us now live this morning. Uh, Alex, uh, good to have you with us and good morning to you. So we're still getting those results coming in uh, across England, of course. Um, what's your assessment of what we've seen for the results so far? Well, so far we've seen in London, the Labour Party have made significant gains. Um, outside London, um, they've managed to hold uh, in places and the picture is harder to assess because uh, we're looking back to when these seats were last contested in 2018, where the Labour Party performed uh, stronger, much more strongly than it did last year in 2021. So they'll be, they'll be pleased to have held seats in uh, the councils in places like uh, Sunderland. But in general, we're seeing that outside London, uh, Labour gains are more modest. Yeah, yeah, and we've obviously seen, we're looking at pictures now of the celebrations in Wandsworth, Wandsworth Council going to the Labour Party, and we're just reporting as well in the last few minutes that Westminster Council will have gone to the Labour Party too. Just how significant uh, are those two councils changing hands? Well, of course, I mean, Wandsworth used to be a flagship count, uh, Conservative Council, uh, Margaret Thatcher's favourite council, and Westminster, winning Westminster is, is of course, uh, hugely symbolic. Uh, but for Labour to make advances, I mean, Labour is already very strong uh, in London, but um, they also need to make advances well beyond London and the South East and also in the so-called Red Wall areas. And there, the, the picture so far is more mixed. Yeah, the picture is mixed. We are getting those results coming in too. Let's talk about the Conservative Party now. Of course, the party in government always suffers in these uh, local elections. Um, where are we seeing a uh, particular sort of uh, danger for the Conservatives? Uh, my colleague Helen Ann was showing us some graphics earlier that showed that there's been a huge swing against the Tories in the south of the country. Yeah, I think th they'll be concerned by losing control in places like West Oxfordshire, um, where there are um, you know marginal seats um, held at, at Westminster. Uh, they'll be concerned by uh, Labour taking control in Southampton and also um, the new, new um, local authority uh, in Cumberland, in Cumbria, uh, where Labour has taken control, control and there are three um, Conservative uh, Westminster seats there. So those are areas where, where they'll be concerned. Uh, and the Liberal Democrats, it's not been a bad night uh, so far for them, has it? No, indeed. They, they've made gains and they'll be delighted to have taken hold. Uh, what's a, a, rare Liberal Democrat uh, Labour um, fight and they, they took control and they'll, they'll be very pleased to have made advances there and, and in some of the South East. Now Alex, I know you don't want to do this, you'll leave yourself uh, open to criticism if you make any assessments thus far because we are still halfway through the results for England and of course we're still waiting on those results to come in from Wales and Scotland but can we draw any national lessons do you think at this stage in the morning from what we're seeing? I mean Labour doing well in London is not a huge surprise is it? I think that's the thing. I think there are several narratives you could tell. It's not there's not a sort of overwhelming story of success or uh, failure. But I mean, we do need to wait also for the results, particularly in Scotland, where Labour will be hoping to make significant gains. In two, when the council seats were last uh, contested, then Labour were pushed into third for the first time behind the Conservatives. They'll be hoping to move back into second, and that that would involve a lot of council seat gains. Uh, and the. Issues facing all families around the country in terms of, of cost of living, how much has that played into voters' mind? And have we any idea as what turnout has been like for these elections? Uh, as I understand, turnout is uh, slightly lower. Um, many people are talking about the fact that cost of living, uh, as much as Partygate, has been a, a, a significant factor uh, on the doorstep. Uh, and of course, I think the, the particular concern for the Conservative Party is that the, the um, problem of the cost of living uh, uh, is, is, is not one that's going to go away. And this is going to remain politically really salient for many months to come. Yeah, definitely. It's OK. Alex Nice uh, from the Institute for Government. Thank you so much for that. Let